Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit and the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. Satan trying to trying to get that light to go out, but it won't go out. It's the light of God. Praise God. Uh, for all the people who are uh, in a path of this, uh, all this uh, severe weather, you know, I, I, I pray for you that you're covered by the blood of Jesus and that the angels will, will care for you and keep you safe. And also, you know, if I've offended anyone, that's not my uh, intention, you know. I'm all about love and trying to bring people up. The only one I want to, I, that I'm about taking down is Satan and, and, uh, and you know, even his children. You know, I know a lot of them are possessed. You know, I don't take it personal that, you know, they attack me, you know, uh, because I want them to go to heaven as well. So, you know, uh, only one, you know, that, that my focus is on is Satan and his demons. And uh, but if anyone else, you know, that I have uh, that I have uh, uh, hurt in any way in any of my words or, or actions, I want to apologize because, you know, us as children of God, you know, we try to keep our side of the street clean. And we don't mind, you know, uh, standing up to our wrongs. And, you know, so uh, that way, you know, we're standing firm on that rock of love, peace, joy, you know, and righteousness. And it, it makes us more powerful because, you know, we don't want to carry that, that negative baggage with us. You know, we want to drop that as quick as we can. Praise God. But anyway, you know, my, my reading today is, is, this is out of the Bible app. Uh, and I think, I, I can't thank God enough. But uh, this is a, uh, we are representatives of God's love. And this commandment have we from, from him that he loves, he loveth God, that he who loveth God, his brothers also. So, you know, we should love each other as, 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 as God loves us. We should love, you know, our brothers and sisters as well. And, you know, we should not exclude anyone. And so that's why I love this, this, you know, uh, this uh, reading here, I might I might uh, mess her name up. Is her name is Chipo Bitty? Uh, but anyway, let me let me get started with this. This is so awesome, y'all. You know, whenever I see whenever I see something, you know, that moves me, I try to share it with others, and hopefully it'll move them as well. The way we love God is reflected in the way we love people around us. The Christian life is not a life of selfishness or pickiness where we choose to stick to ourselves or hang around select people of our liking there is no room for excluding people when it comes to walking in this love of god the same way god's arms were wide open for us when we were sinners is the same way we are to have our arms stretched out wide open to the people around us. The love of God knows no boundaries when it comes to reaching out to reaching out to people. Uh, God is God is inclusive. He's not exclusive. We we he got he got a seat for us all, y'all. The love of God isn't for a certain group of people. It is for anyone and everyone and only and the only way. God's love can reach other people is God's love can reach other people is through us. We are God's representative on earth and he expects us to do what he would have done. When Jesus came to the earth, he looked down upon no one. He entertained everyone and accommodated them as best he they, as best they can. Even though he had many Disputes with the Pharisees over the self over their self righteousness. Jesus never closed them out. He was open to talk to Nicodemus. That's John three one twenty one, who was a Pharisee. Jesus still spoke to him, counseled him, and taught him about the way. The love of God should move us to to overlook all offenses in order to minister to other people. This is no easy feat, but this is why God is with us. This is why the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit teaches us how to love people past the offense they may have caused us. Loving 
the people around us is not an option, dear brothers and sisters in the Lord. It is a commandment. God is love. That's the power, y'all. Ain't nothing stronger with love because God is love. The creating power of love. The, create, the, the healing power of love. That's God, y'all. You cannot claim to be of God if you refuse to love people around you. The love of God overrides all prejudice and forms of exclusion. God doesn't expect us to stand on the outside looking in. He expects us to go in full speed ahead, loving on anyone we can so they can know that there is a God out there who cares about them deeply. God loves us, y'all. As children of God, it is our duty to exhibit God's love through our words and actions. If we fail to do so, how can we expect to lead more people to Christ? You cannot reach out you cannot reach out to people without love of God. It is love of God that compels you to reach out to people in the first place. Amen. But uh this is uh I don't know if you can see her. Uh well, no, it's hard to see her. There it is. Uh, but anyway, uh, I want to thank thank y'all for watching. Uh, there's no relationship greater than the one with our glorious creator. Let love reign in your life. And uh, I want to thank you. I want uh, and please be careful with the with the storms out there, and, and keep your eyes uh, on God, and you can't go wrong. Anyway, I love you. God bless you. Y'all have a blessed morning. And uh, I'll probably be back because, uh, you know, I'm open to God. Let God work through me. And whoever, you know, I can touch in a loving way, uh, I, I pray and ask God to help me do that. Anyway, I love you. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.